Hello and welcome back to the Tech Blackboard and I welcome you all to our free learning series on Azure Fundamentals. In this video, we will talk about Azure DNS and Azure Express Route. And please note that this is our section 2.2.5, which is the subset of the section 2 holding 35 to 40% in AZ900 exam. And you can download a free PDF file with section by section marking completely synced with our videos and also Microsoft AZ900 or Azure Fundamentals exam course. Links to the free PDF file is given in the description box. And for our viewers who have recently joined us, I would like to mention that in last few episodes, we have already covered virtual networking, including the purpose of Azure virtual networks, Azure virtual subnets, and we also talked about Azure network pairing and VPN gateway. So in case my friends, you missed the last episodes covering all these vital Azure topics, please go ahead and watch all these previous parts. Links to all of those are shared in the description box. Now coming to the main topic for today, let's talk about what is Azure DNS. But before that, let me quickly talk about FQDN or fully qualified domain name and IP addresses as these are the base concepts to understand Azure DNS. And friends, in the upcoming slides, I will also show you how FQDN IP address and DNS comes together to provide a seamless experience to access different websites or web resources. So starting with FQDN or fully qualified domain name, it is a complete address of an internet host or computer. You can also say the internet address of a website. So for example, google.com or maybe youtube.com or any other website for that matter. So simply put the name of the website with which you access them over the internet is called fully qualified domain name. Now let's Let's talk about what is IP address. Well, to start with, IP address means internet protocol address. Now friends, please pay attention. Every fully qualified domain name behind the scenes is translated to an IP address. Now to fully admire this concept, let me take you to a little flashback of human evolution. So friends, the evolution of humans is such that we are good at remembering the name of the places persons, objects, etc. But we are not very good at remembering numbers, especially when they are this big. Now think for a while. Do you remember names of your friends, relatives, colleagues? I'm sure you do. Now tell me how many phone numbers do you remember? Maybe a handful, but not much. Similarly, it won't be easy for us to remember the websites if they were only represented in numbers. So let's just say for us humans, we have more readable and easy to remember FQDN or fully qualified domain names. While on the other hand, for the machines, it is the IP address each website is essentially a front name for these kind of numbers. Now friends, there are four types of IP addresses, public, private, static and dynamic. But talking about them is little out of scope of Azure Fundamental course. Simply put, the IP addresses uniquely identifies each device or web page on the internet. Without one, there is no way to connect them. Now that you understand both FQDN and IP address, understanding DNS would be a piece of cake. Well, kind of. So let's start understanding domain name system, which actually translates or resolves a website or a service name to its IP address. So friends, just remember this, all the computers or better say it, all the devices on the internet from your smartphone or laptop to the servers that serve content for the massive retail websites or YouTube like websites. All these websites find and communicate with each other by using these IP address numbers. And when you open a web browser, go to a website, you do not have to remember and enter long numbers. Instead, you just enter a domain name, for example, google.com or youtube.com and still end up in the right website. So much like a phone book, a domain name system bridges the gap between humans and the computers by matching domain names to their respective internet protocol addresses. Now here is the quick representation of how DNS works. Well, not the most detailed one, but good enough for Azure fundamental level. So here you can see that we have a user, let's say you or me. We are trying to access a website google.com or youtube.com. So we enter the website address in our browsers. 
and then this request is forwarded to a web server that in turn communicates with the DNS servers that tells the web server the corresponding IP address of the requested website. So for example, you ask for the google.com, the web server will say to the DNS server, hey, I'm looking for the google.com or youtube.com. The DNS server will find out the corresponding IP address mapped with google.com and return it to the web server. The web server now know what is the site actually required it will return the web page back to the user. So this is how overall the DNS server work along with the concepts of FQDN which is google.com and the IP address. I hope by now you have a good understanding of FQDN, IP address and DNS server. How they work together to make internet a better place to work and also makes it easy for the humans to remember websites. Now let's build upon all the concepts that we have learned so far and talk about Azure DNS. So friends, Azure DNS is a cloud service that allows you to host and manage domain name system domains also known as DNS zones. So let's supplement our knowledge whatever we have learned so far on Azure DNS or DNS in general with Microsoft documentation. So this is the documentation that tells you what is Azure DNS. So the documentation tells you that Azure DNS is a cloud service that allows you to host and manage domain name system domains also known as DNS zones. A DNS zone is a collection of DNS records. DNS records can relate to a fully qualified domain name. The concept that we just learned associated with the zone to an IP address or another DNS record. For example, www.tailwindtraders.com mapping to a specific IP address which is given here and then the documentation also tells you that Azure DNS allows you to manage DNS zones data using Azure Portal, Azure PowerShell or Azure CLI and not to forget you can always use REST API. And now friends let's move our focus from what is Azure DNS to how Azure DNS works. And now you can read Azure DNS hosts DNS zones and provides a name resolution service using Microsoft Azure infrastructure. Traditionally, when a DNS service is hosted on a server running on Windows Server or Linux and a DNS zone gets delegated to that server. A client making a DNS query for a host in that zone will have their query answered by the DNS server service. So the crux of all this documentation is same as what I showed you in the presentation. So we have one user and that user is requesting for a website. That website address is converted to an IP address using DNS server. And in this very documentation friends, you can also reach out to this presentation here or this diagram here where you can actually understand how this DNS server is working. I would say that this diagram is a complement or adds to the diagram that I showed in my presentation. Now that we understand what is DNS and how it works, let's now also understand when to use Azure DNS. So here Microsoft tells you that almost every organization that has internet presence has one or more DNS domain names. So as an example, when you set up Tailwind Traders Microsoft 365 subscription, basically any 365 subscription that you are using or maybe your company is using. So for all those Microsoft 365 subscriptions, you use a domain name registrar to acquire the tailwindtraders.com DNS zone. So similarly, my friends, on this documentation, you can understand all about DNS. And in fact, you can also have a quick knowledge check. And do I need to explicitly say this? There will be questions in AZ900 exam from this concept. And now let's change our focus from Azure DNS to Azure Express Route. So friends, Azure Express Route is an Azure service that lets you create private connection between Microsoft data centers and infrastructure that's on premises or in co-location facilities. And please note my friends, Express Route connections do not go over the public internet and that's why they offer high security reliability and speeds with low latencies than the typical connections over the internet. And furthermore, Express Route allows a private connection between the local network and Microsoft Cloud. And using Express Route, organizations or the users can connect to several Microsoft Cloud services. For example, Microsoft Dynamics 365, Microsoft Azure and Office 365. Also note my friends, connection to the Microsoft services can be through the universal network or through point-to-point -point Ethernet connection 
via a network connectivity provider to the data center. And once again, I'm saying public internet cannot be used to establish a connection to the express route. Now let's explore some of the key benefits of Azure Express Route. So this is the documentation where you can learn more about Azure Express Route. I will directly jump to the benefits. So here you can see that layer 3 connectivity between your on-premises network and Microsoft Cloud through a connectivity provider. So here you can understand what are the key benefits that Express Route provides you. The very first benefit it tells you is that layer 3 connectivity between your on-premises network and the Microsoft cloud through a connectivity provider. So friends, connectivity can be from any to any network, a point to point Ethernet connection or through a virtual cross connection via Ethernet exchange. And also connectivity to Microsoft Cloud services across all regions in geopolitical region. And then my friends, Azure Express Route gives you a global connectivity to Microsoft services across all region with the Express Route Premium add-on. So basically, you can go through all the key benefits of Express Route, features, what is layer 3 connectivity, everything you can understand on this very documentation. As always, links are available in the description box. So today, my friends, we have covered two major topics in Azure architecture, and those are Azure DNS and Azure Express Route. In case some of the concepts are not clear to you, I urge you to re-watch the video, watch the previous parts, try to join the dots to understand the big picture. And friends, in the very next episode, I will explain two very, very important concepts, Azure Public Endpoint and Azure Private Endpoint. But for now, I really hope you enjoy diving into the world of Azure Cloud Technology with us today. And my humble request to give us a thumbs up by hitting the like button below. It really provides a clear feedback to us whether you are liking the content or not. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you found this video valuable, share it with your friends, colleagues or anyone else who might be benefit from learning about Azure Cloud. Spread the knowledge and let's build a community of cloud learners. And I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.